Subject is near. Hello and welcome to Chaser. I'll freely admit that I don't really know anything about this game other than it looked cool on GOG.com and I picked it up. So far it seems pretty interesting. I do know... well I did. I lied. I do know a little bit about the game. By which I mean I played for about maybe five minutes just to dial in performance. Um, next session I'll see, well before next session I'll uh, see if I can uh, enable some sort of anti-aliasing for the game to make things look a little nicer. Um, I am playing this on my laptop which is pretty outdated and uh, weak so I wouldn't be surprised if it had troubles. But yeah, get a slow-mo mode, you get a sprint mode. And other than that, it seems like a pretty nice uh, early 2000s shooter that you might not have ever heard of. I know. That's a bomb. Oh my god, Chaser, a bomb. A bomb? A bomb. Completely harmless. <laughs> By the way, I am playing this on hard, so if I have some trouble, uh, that would be why. <clears throat> so I kind of have doubts that they actually went through the trouble of uh, licensing the names of these guns, but it's still pretty cool that they used the real names. Eat shit. Killed by a door. I went through a lot of this level just fine in testing. No deaths, no problems. But a fucking door is going to slaughter me. Alright, I'm gonna quick save because that door is going to murder me horribly. So far, the game seems pretty cool. It's got a few things that I think could have been done a little better. Yeah, and I'm not talking about things that you know could have been done or could have been done better if they were done today or with a 
Ah, your budget. Holy shit, I'm getting destroyed. Didn't exact expect to get shot up that badly. In a slow mo uh, mode for some reason. So clearly this mode is going to be very useful for a while until I get uh, fully used to how the game works. Come on now, those guys went, went down, they went down a lot easier uh, when I was testing. <clears throat> I'm also going to be quick saving very often. I know that can get annoying, but my uh, playtime is very limited and... You know, I've just got even more reason not to want to have to uh, redo a bunch of stuff. Thankfully, there's a nice uh, medkit here. Heal all my wounds from uh, my suckitude. die already. Oh, by the way, um, despite uh, the <clears throat> hardware in this machine, I am running with EAX. Whoops. I hope I didn't just break anything. Um, I should probably make a hard save, by the way, just to be safe. You get that started. I'll have to uh, demo the, the way that I got it to work at some points, but uh, for now, I'll just say I'm using indirect sound. Somebody's really awesome uh, code to get this to work. I knew this ambush was around here somewhere, and I still walked right into it. I am amazing. Truly. But yeah, indirect sound is pretty cool. I'll have to make a standalone demonstration video. If I can... Well, I'll make it no matter what, but I... I just want to try to find the, uh, you know, where the code is, uh, stored online so I can link to it. Anyway, onto the game. Uh, the adrenaline mode, as it's called. Slow motion in colloquial terms. It's a lot more limited, holy shit, than, uh, it is in, say, Fear, or other games that have this kind of slow motion. Capability. Chaser has just reached cargo area. Send reinforcements. It might be just because I'm playing on hard, but uh, it's definitely a lot less. I don't really want to say game breaking, but a bit less easy to uh, use than it is in other games with this sort of feature. Uh, how about no? Where is this guy? Well... Uh, that's actually not a bad location to hide it. Yeah, it looks like if enemy bodies disappear, but 2003, it, it at least has an excuse for that sort of thing. At least I think the game's from 2003. Maybe even earlier than that. Either way, it's a pretty old game. <laughs> so I'm not gonna rag on it too badly about graphics. I do have to say the texture... Uh, texture um, resolution on a lot of these objects is surprisingly good. As crazy as it sounds, I think the texture quality in some cases in this game, is actually a lot better than it is in a lot of modern games. Oh shit, he's right there. Right is about to question where he is. Alright, ammunition... We'll just do another quick sweep. Make sure I'm not missing anything around here. 
Also, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna turn up some audio options a little bit here. I think I turned them down a little too much. I'm um, sorry to keep all this stuff in. I just don't really have anywhere near as much time to spend editing as I used to. Also, that appears not to be the way to go. Now, that being said, I'll try to edit this uh, at, at least a decent amount. Safety module. I guess that's the call of the lift up to this level. Hmm. So unless I can climb somewhere, it looks like the answer isn't up here. I wonder if I can send it up in. There might be something under here. Ah, afraid not. Well, they did start saying something when I entered this room. It looked like all the doors were locked, but there might be something here. No, nothing. Well, this is great, I'm already getting lost. <laughs> But if this t ends up taking too, mu too much time, I will uh, go ahead and uh, cut some of it. Uh, sorry to <laughs> throw so much uh, technical talk into this one. It's just been a while since I properly sat down and recorded an LP. I'm a bit rusty. Crouch jumping does not seem to work. And all these doors seem to be locked. Oh, never mind. Okay, that seems to be the key. Alright, so I guess I'll keep that in mind for the future. I'll actually, take a look at these computers and see if the interaction icon pops up for them. Alright, so I probably handle that jump a bit better. Yeah, like going for... No, that actually didn't help at all. Sprint. God damn it, I've got a sprint function. Why am I not using it? Because I'm still going to have trouble with it. Yeah, I'm having some ridiculous troubles here. Um... There we go. I'm not sure why that was so hard. Whoops. Did he just get killed by the door? <laughs> That's what I get for laughing, I guess. Where is this guy? His gun is here. Where's the guy that horribly killed me last time? Cannot interact with that one. Okay, so there's plenty of ammunition around here. Now I know the maximum is 250 for this gun. No, really, where's the guy? Oh, he's broken. Strangely enough, it seems the uh, EAX effects are a bit less pronounced than I uh, would imagine them being. Anyway, let's skate, save scum some more. Say it, like I said, I don't have as much time as I would like to uh, play these. Not that it matters, I mean, I saved like crazy all the time before anyway. At any rate, uh, my computer's giving me a little bit of trouble because it's some crappy laptop. 
And so I do apologize in advance for... Drop your weapons. Yeah, you guys do that. Drop your weapons. Wow. Okay, so... Thing to keep in mind. Armor does not help a lot. If these guys destroy you quite easily. Holy shit. And their, their artificial intelligence is actually pretty dynamic. Compared to what you might otherwise see in games. I mean, they aren't exactly virtual geniuses, but... They certainly move, a move around a lot more than they do in some games. Motherfucker. And sometimes they just hide in corners behind corpses. Whoa! Okay, um... This is... Kinda difficult. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's looking to be the kind of game where I more or less need to rely on the slow-mo ability to get through without having so many troubles. Okay, let me just do one quick sweep back here. Just ammunition that I don't need to worry about because there's plenty ahead. <clears throat> just wanted to make sure I didn't miss any med kits. I should probably get a clock set up over here. Uh, just so I know how long I'm recording. Anyway. Let's stop sprinting. That's getting me in way, into way too much trouble here. That looks like they killed some poor civilian. That looks, uh... Strangely similar to one of the three Half-Life 2 male models. Ah, there we go. There's some armor. Not that it's going to help very much, but eh, it's better than nothing. Oh, man, that would that'd be a perfect place to hide something. Okay, this dude hid. He was actually really quite well hidden behind that light. In front of that light, rather. Oh, for God's sake. Fucking doors. Doors are the bane of my existence. He wasn't there this time? Oh, there he is. This is about hunting people down. Whoa! I probably shouldn't be getting so surprised by every enemy I enemy I encounter, but I mean, I suppose it's justified when you know they deal that much damage. Oh shit! Worst quick save ever. Well, that actually turned out kind of well. <clears throat> yeah, I, either way. Worst quick save ever definitely belongs to that one time I was playing Serious Sam the Second Encounter. Whoa. And uh, quick save right in front <clears throat> of a kamikaze enemy when they had one health. Talk about dive or load, dive or load. So I guess that's basically a monster closet. I almost don't want to pick that up until I get a bit more hurt. Because that looks like something that re restores a decent amount of health. Okay, then um, now would be a good time to go pick that up. Thankfully, this isn't a very long lift ride, otherwise this backtracking would be pretty terrible. 
I oh, yeah, see exactly. It's some uh, large bed kid. Would have been a total, whoa, whoa. Fuck. total waste to uh, pick it up earlier. And I still ended up wasting some of it. Ah, good old fashioned bloom. A uh, semi transparent circular texture placed over bright lights. They called it Corona Effect. Honestly, in some ways, I prefer to modern bloom. Because this stuff at least doesn't blind you. Hmm, I'm wondering, yeah, am I being given a choice of places to go? No, I'm not. I wonder if I checked that before. Oh, well, either way. Keep moving on. There's a large med kit. Which, of course, means I'm going to be worried about picking it up. Want to be as optimal as possible with this sort of stuff. So there's just one enemy down this path. It looks like you can hop down to the lower level from it. I'm curious to see what the other path has to offer. Another hallway. It looks like it actually goes on a little longer. I'm getting rusty at uh, shooters, not that that was ever particularly amazing anyway. Or this game is just really difficult. So I definitely, probably sh should not be getting torn to shreds this easily. Oh well, there's at least plenty of medkits to make up for me sucking. And there's the magic of quick save to guide me along. Let me refresh my memory. Yes, I did see a lift. I'm wondering if it takes me to the same location this uh, set of stairs does. What do we got over here? That looks like a large armor kit. Okay, I'm gonna quick load that one like a jerk. Um, just because I... By the looks of it, it's gonna be a highly effective pickup. And I kind of don't want to risk wasting it. Whoops. Okay, for some reason I thought he was dead. So it seems like with one-on-one -on -one encounters, uh, sprinting around like a maniac is going to be enough to, uh... Uh, survive without any trouble. That, I'm assuming, is the objective. And that looks suspiciously similar to an area in Blood 2 before I gave up on that game. Is that one airship level, to be exact? Also, this... <laughs> Wait... Shh. Oh, well, I wanted to backtrack anyway. I gotta explore more of the level, and it looked like uh, I was blo or locked off from uh, going back to where I was. Okay, this may be just another way to get down here. Also, the light... The lighting probably should have been configured a little nicer here. Just so it didn't, you know, suddenly flicker from one profile to the to another. I mean, I know it's... 
early 2000s. But I mean, uh, Deus Ex itself uh, was a bit smoother with the lighting, and that was the Unreal 1 engine. There we go. Glad we take those now. Save that for later. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this definitely was blocked off. So all I could do was go to another door. Which I actually can't do because there's lightning everywhere. I guess there wasn't as much to explore around here as I thought there was. Either way, let's do whatever this does. What did I do? Well, it looks like I shut off the electricity here, so I'm making my way into another hallway. Hey, come on, dude, just die already. Oh, shit. No wonder I'm getting shot up. There's this dude right here. Well, I mean, it was interesting before, but it's getting even more. You know, you know what I mean. <clears throat> well, this seems like the place to go. I wonder if he would have been killed by that if I had just left him alone. I guess this should at least lead to some. Also, it seems to be a very easy to fall off ladder. That's gonna be fun to work with. Save some some more. Let's let's uh, let's go. So that pod must be nearby.
five minutes, it'll all be over and we can go home. In 35 seconds, we'll land about half a mile south of Florida 34. Hang on! Well, that was certainly an interesting landing. I'd like to play it more, but I really gotta get to sleep. Um, thoughts so far? I definitely really like the music. It's nothing particularly special or amazing, but it's, um, it happens to be the kind of, uh, admittedly kind of generic sci-fi style uh, music that I kind of tend to like. <clears throat> the cutscenes are really well done so far. Um, it kind of avoids the really awkward amateurish camera angles that uh, you, you know a lot of other games tend to do when they're cutscenes and provides you know proper cinematic camera angle changes and ideas. <clears throat> the gameplay is a little not as well polished as some would like, but it's enjoyable and fun so far. And I um, look forward to continuing this later. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time in Chaser.